Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati and in this video I will be solving one of the important question of Pi Spark which was asked in Global Company second round. I got this question from the LinkedIn post so I thought to solve this question via my own method so that you know it will be useful for many users who are watching this video or who, who are preparing for the Pi Spark interview I mean Pi Spark interviews okay so before we go to that I would like to introduce my website and here I have created multiple courses you can see currently I am I am I am giving a Azure Data Factory live class total 18 members have been en en enrolled in this and then I I also you know build this Apache Spark with this Scala course and then we have Python interview questions this is the free course this is the same course you know which is available on the on the my YouTube channel and then we have you know Databricks by Spark real time scenario here I have solved multiple questions related to Databricks and PySpark I mean this is a paid course and you can see total 111 students have enrolled in this then I have this uh, solve real time scenario questions using logic app and then i have azure data factory this is the latest course i have built it and this is a complete master in azure data factory course where i have also shown how you can implement a uh, power bi you uh, you know power bi as an end and uh, report okay and you know and then we have master in git and github then build real time delta lake project using pi spark and you can see 261 members have enrolled in this then i am having pi spark interview series this is the same series which i am you know uploading now and right and this master in python with data structure database pi spark 960 members you can see next 960 members it's too much right and then basic of azure data factory 867 members have enrolled and then build end-to-end -end project this is the paid course and one of the wonderful course present on my website and total 683 members have been enrolled if you want you can uh, take this course currently a sale is going on a black friday sale is going on you will get the uh, you will get the uh, uh you know you will get a promo code when you refresh the page or when you visit to my website okay so chalo, let's back to the question and we'll solve this question so this is the you no know, this is the input and this is the output so you can assume so i have just created here a kind of a kind of data frame we have a name and then we have addresses like this okay so the question is that you know we are getting uh we are receiving this kind of data in the csv form in the csv file uh, in the csv file right so instead i have created this data frame so the question is we are having uh, we are receiving a, a a simple string in one column and a json string into a different column okay and here we are having two uh, two two things right street and city so i ne we need to create a new column two new columns street and city on top of the address column so this is a kind of json so we need to pass the json and create a new column so let's see how we can do that so it's a simple simple uh, simple uh, you know simple problem uh, right so first i will import my libraries so sql dot function import there is one function called from json and then i can import call cool now df1 is equal to df dot with column i am going to create a new column and here i will give the new name called past and underscore json something like that and here i am going to use that function from underscore json and here the first parameter will be will be my will be my you know will be my uh, will be my column which needs to be passed so that is address and then what i what i need to do i need to pass the schema you know what should be the schema after passing the json right or when i am passing the json i need to present i need i need to put one schema so the schema will be street okay so i can write here like this street also you can use with the help of you can also create with the help of struct field and struct type so for time being i can just you know uh, do with this way street street string comma city string cool done now let me just do a display df1 now you can see when you know this is the old column address right now you can see that it is not a, a kind of you know this is this is not a json right this is a kind of simple string and now if i 
if i see over here now this will look like this is look like a json only because you know when i click over here then you can see we have object and then we have these keys right like that okay now if we want we we can also write like this with column renamed okay if i do this oh it will not one minute okay i cannot do my bad okay uh with column and here i will drop my you know here i will drop my unwanted column that is address right if you do not want to you can also ignore this drop statement or drop function now what i will do i will write here with df1 dot select a uh, name right or if you want you can also use like you can also use like this name comma call of call what past under a uh, past underscore json so i will use this and here i will use dot street okay and i can put here an alias saying that hey i need i need to make it is this street comma same thing i will do copy it paste it over here and instead of street i will give here city or if you want to put city first you can put city first and put here city and i can store this into df1 only or if you want to change a df you can change it and then display of df1 first let me run this and let me run this you can see we have the data in a correct format let me just copy this control c control v now also what we can do we can we can write like this remove all these with column and here i will give a new name suppose you do not want to use a you know use a alias so give the name like this comma this is not needed and again i will use oh sorry my bad again i will use here with column and then i will pass here city so I will again run the input and this is gonna be my output same thing so I do not want this pass JSON right so what I can do control C and here I will drop this or if you want to use call you can also call this via call method So there are multiple ways okay it doesn't mean that you know if you are solving via this way it is wrong or via solve solving via this way this is wrong both are same maybe you are get you have a different method so what i believe that you know we can also that this call is uh, call pass json dot star dot star so let me just uh, you know uh, give a shot i am having something in my mind so we'll see what will happen if i write here uh if i write here star so i will just uh, you know uh, let me copy this i'm just you know uh, i'm just trying it maybe i'm wrong so then i will sh you know complete this video remove everything and here i will put a star call star call star okay we'll see will it work or not 
we should do experiment so that we will learn learn and we will see we will you know know ki whether it's correct or wrong oh it is wrong okay in valid syntax it is showing okay we cannot do then that okay no problem you know we understood almost or everything right so please please do not forget to subscribe the channel please do not forget to hit the i know share this video over the internet or to your friends or to your colleagues who are preparing for pi spark interviews definitely you know i am like 90 percent sure you will get the same question or maybe you will you know the question may be twisted or little bit the data will be changed but the concept will will still be there okay so maybe the question can be asked via some different data set and then you have to solve it so in this video we have seen how we can use from json i mean what is the use of from json method okay so let me just cancel this and i will give this uh, this this thing over the description and i will also give the link to my all the courses uh, you know you can just go and you know check it out whether you want to enroll in it or not so thank you bye bye